Cozy Cloud Stories Stella and Friends Journey Through the Milky Way Once upon a time, deep in the sparkling blue sea, lived a gentle and wise stingray named Stella. Stella wasn't just any stingray. She had a shiny, glowing tail that shimmered like the stars in the night sky. She loved to swim through the ocean, but there was one thing she loved even more, talking about the stars and planets above. One day, as Stella glided through the seaweed forests, she saw a group of curious baby creatures playing near the coral reef. There were tiny fish, seahorses, crabs, and starfish all giggling and chasing each other. Stella smiled and swam closer. Hello, little ones, she called, her voice as soft as a sea breeze. What are you all playing today? We're playing hide and seek, said Timmy the tiny fish, but we keep getting distracted. There's just so much to explore. Stella chuckled. I know, the ocean is full of wonders, but do you know what's even more amazing? The Milky Way galaxy. The Milky Way? asked Sally the seahorse, tilting her little head. What's that? Stella's eyes twinkled as she began her story. Oh, it's a beautiful place far above our heads, full of stars and planets. I want to tell you all about it. Would you like to learn? The baby creatures nodded eagerly. The Milky Way is a vast galaxy filled with stars and planets. It contains eight planets, and each of these planets has its own moons. Let's take a journey through space, Stella said, flapping her wings and swimming around in circles. Close your eyes and imagine you're zooming through the water, but instead of staying in the sea, you're flying up, 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 all the way past the waves and into the sky. The baby creatures closed their eyes, and as they did, they felt themselves floating away from the sea past the clouds and into the dark starry sky. Stella was leading them through the Milky Way galaxy. The Milky Way is like a huge city with billions of residents. Our solar system is like a single house in that city, with the sun as the family's head of the house and the planets, moons, etc. as the family members. The sun is the star at the center of our solar system and everything revolves around it. First, we reach the closest planet to the sun, Stella said. This is Mercury, the tiny planet. It's like a little marble, but it's very hot. It's so close to the sun that its temperature can reach over 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Even though it's small, it's full of craters, like the surface of the moon. Does it have any moons? Asked Benny the crab, his claws clicking together in curiosity. Stella shook her head. No, Mercury has no moons. It's too small and too close to the sun for any moons to stay around it. Wow, that's so hot, Timmy said, his tiny fins shivering as he imagined it. Next, we zoom over to the second planet, Venus. Stella continued, gliding gracefully through the stars. Venus is like Earth's twin. It's about the same size, but it's much hotter. Venus is covered with thick clouds that trap heat, so it's one of the hottest places in our solar system. Does it have any moons? Asked Luna the starfish, floating next to her. Sadly, no, Stella replied. Venus doesn't have any moons either. It's all alone, just like Mercury. Now we're heading to Earth, Stella said her voice filled with warmth. This is our home, the planet where we live. Earth is the only planet known to have life, plants, animals, oceans, and even us. She swam around, showing the baby creatures how Earth looked from above, a big blue ball with patches of green and white. Earth has one moon, she said. It's called the moon, very creative name, right? All the baby creatures giggled. One moon? That sounds nice, said Sally. Next, we're flying to Mars, the red planet. Stella said with excitement, Mars is known for its red color because of the iron in the ground. 
It's very cold and dry with tall mountains and big dusty deserts. Does Mars have moons? asked Benny. Yes, Mars has two tiny moons. Their names are Phobos and Deimos. They're very small and look like rocks, Stella explained. The babies were amazed. Two moons, they said together. Now hold on tight, Stella called as they zoomed away to the giant planet Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest planet in our whole solar system. It's so big that it could fit over 1,300 Earths inside of it. Stella's voice was full of wonder. Whoa, said Timmy. That's huge. And do you know how many moons Jupiter has? Stella asked with a wink. How many? asked Luna. Jupiter has 95 moons, Stella said proudly. Some of them are huge, like Ganymede, which is even bigger than the planet Mercury. Wow! 95 the creatures gasped. Next, we're off to Saturn, the planet with the beautiful rings. Stella announced as they flew past the bright, golden rings of Saturn. Saturn is a gas giant like Jupiter, and it has stunning rings made of ice and rocks. It's like a big jewel in space. Does Saturn have moons? asked Sally, her eyes wide with excitement. Yes, Saturn has 146 moons, Stella said. Some of Saturn's moons are as big as small planets like Titan, which is the second largest moon in the entire solar system. Now let's drift past the cold planet Uranus, Stella said. Uranus is special because it spins on its side, like a giant spinning top. It's made mostly of gas, and its color is a beautiful light blue because of the methane in the atmosphere. Uranus must be cold, Benny said, his claws clacking together. It's very cold, and Uranus has 27 moons, Stella replied. Let's keep going, all the way to Neptune, the last planet in our solar system, Stella said. Neptune is a deep blue planet, filled with strong winds and storms. It's far, far away from the sun, so it's freezing cold. Does Neptune have moons? asked Timmy. Yes, it has 14 moons and one of them, called Triton, is special because it's the only moon in the entire solar system that goes around its planet backward. Stella explained. That's funny, laughed Sally. And finally, we reach the distant dwarf planet Pluto, Stella said softly. Pluto used to be the ninth planet, but now it's called a dwarf planet. It's very small and icy far, far away from the sun. Even though it's not considered a planet anymore, it still has a special place in our hearts. Does Pluto have moons? asked Benny. Yes, Pluto has five moons. The largest one is called Sharon, Stella said. Wow, that was an amazing adventure, Luna said, her starfish arms waving in excitement. Stella smiled warmly. You've all learned so much about the planets and their moons. The Milky Way is full of wonders, just like our ocean. And even though we live under the sea, remember that the stars are up there, shining down on us, guiding our way. The baby creatures giggled and swam around Stella, excited to share their new knowledge. Thank you, Stella. We'll never forget this cosmic adventure they all said together. As the baby creatures swam back to their coral reef home, they looked up at the sky, knowing that beyond the waves, the planets and stars were still there, twinkling far away. And so, every night before bed, they would look up and dream of the great cosmic adventure that their friend, Stella the Stingray, had shown them. If you loved exploring the Milky Way with Stella the Stingray and her ocean friends, don't forget to like and subscribe for more fun and educational bedtime stories.